What's going on, you guys? This is your boy Scatter by Nature TV, and it's time for the next one. Let's get into it. What's going on, y'all? This is your boy, Scott by Nature TV, and we are here for a brand new episode of Yes, Brother Mads, okay? And we got some more reality TV news, okay? And right about now, we're here to talk about some basketball wives tea. But it really ain't no basketball wives tea because it involves Tammy Roman, and we already know that Tammy Roman has not been a part of this cast, you know, in about two years because her last particular season was season eight okay one of the best seasons but one of the most troubling and one also one of the most um ooh, I, I know it was troubling and controversial as fuck due to the biggest beef of all og versus evelyn there was a lot of colorism allegations and everything else and you guys know that i was there through all of that and i reported on everything in regards to that now as you guys already know basketball wives is now filming their brand new season which includes jackie christie Malaysia Pargo, Jennifer Williams, um, Brandy Maxfield, Brooke Bailey, um, Latasha Duffy, Angel Brinks, uh, British Williams, Nia and Naria Dorsey, just to name a few if I didn't name all of them. So yeah, they are filming their brand new season and it's giving me a lot of Basketball Wives LA energy, the energy that we have missed on this side of the fence, okay? Um, not only that, um, Evelyn is gone. Phoebe is gone. OG is gone. Uh, who else is gone? Um, I know Sean, I know Evelyn, Phoebe, Kristen, and OG. The four of them are all gone. Um, Shawnee will only be appearing in a limited capacity at this point. So I wonder how that's going to pan out. But, however, Tammy Roman was on air with um, Gary with the T. And they discussed basketball wise. But not just basketball wise itself. But Tammy had some things to say about Shawnee and her role being executive producer and a uh, cast member and why the girls were so afraid to speak their minds when it came down to said situation. So what I'm going to do is I got some audio here and it comes and I got it from Reality Entertainment TV. That's an Instagram blog for all reality shows. I'm going to play this audio, and after I play the audio, we're going to discuss it real, real quick, okay? So let's get into the audio, you guys. Let's play it. Basketball wives, honey, and we love basketball wives, and, and, I, and I promise you, I promise you, Tim, I'm not saying this, honey, because I'm on the um, air with you right now. I it. But I was just talking to a friend today because I told him I was going to interview, and they like, basketball wives, bitch, you just went down after you know They said you made the show. And I'm not standing. They said you made the show, and you did make the show. And so, I mean, because you kept it going, and I felt though sometimes now, and no mess or none of that, honey, because y'all living in the give same city. Now, could you show me what living in Houston now? Give it to me how you need to give it to me. Yeah. But the thing is, though, it sometimes made me just a little stuff. I like her as a person, though. But it's like everybody was scared of Sean. Who can't sit about Sean? Who can't sit But your ass said what you want to say. But everybody I mean, just seemed afraid. I, I mean, I had a different. You know, I felt like I had a different type of relationship with Shawnee, and I always tried to keep it as real as I could with anybody. I'm like that with anybody all the time. Uh, I think what people were faced with, in, you know, in any type of business structure, right? It's like you can't go to your job, Gary, and curse out the damn supervisor. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. And because and because she opted to be a cast member on the show, that's where the confusion came in, where people felt like, well, maybe I can't say what I want to say because, you know, she's a cast member and she's one of the EPs. And so that's where it got a little convoluted. I think, uh, you know, for me, I just was like, well, this is what I want to say and I'm going to say it. It would deal with whatever the repercussions are after yeah. that. But I got I got to get this off my chest. But I think now, you know, I've, I've read articles and stories where this, this new season that's coming up, she's in a minimized capacity as a cast member, so that'll allow the girls a lot of freedom to be able to interact amongst each other and really, you know,
you know, make the show good for the people that choose to watch it. All right, you guys. Now, that was Tammy Roman speaking with Gary with a T about the situation with Shawnee being, um, you know, an EP and a cast member all at the same damn time like Future. Now, y'all already know how I feel about that situation. I just feel like this. Shawnee, if you're going to be the boss, then, bitch, just be the fucking boss. Ain't no need for you to be getting in front of the camera trying to minimize what the people can say and try to keep them from saying what they really want to fucking say. That's just how I feel about it. I just... That's just how I feel. Like, I watch other reality shows where the executive producer is there, but they still are treated like a cast member when they get their ass in front of the fucking camera. That's just how I feel. Look at Mariah. Mariah got kicked off her own goddamn show, and bitches did not want to film with her because they had real issues with her, regardless of the fact that she was the fucking boss. You know what I mean? So, that's one um example. Um, there was another show on VH1 that was very short lived called Ball of Wives, where Michael Vick's wife, Kiafa Vick, was the executive producer, but she was also a cast member as well. And those girls didn't like her ass either. She even got a drink thrown on her. You know what I mean? Because because she put herself out there as not only an executive producer, but she was also a fucking cast member. So I feel like this: if you're gonna be an executive producer and you're gonna be a cast member, then bitch. You're going to roll in the dirt with the rest of us because just because you're an executive producer does not mean that I can't speak up to you. Just because you're the boss don't mean I can't voice my, my feelings to you because let's just be 100. I've been at my job for four and a half years and I always, always speak my fucking mind. They don't like it, but I'm going to speak my mind. I don't give a fuck who feels any kind of way about it. I'm always going to speak my mind on the situation. If I feel like I'm being done wrong, bitch, I'm going to speak the fuck on it. If you like it or not, I don't give a fuck. I'm speaking on it. You know what I mean? Like, people be feeling right because they're the boss. They feel like you're not supposed to have no fucking opinion. Oh, no, bitch. That's when you got me all the way fucked up, bitch. Because I'm going to always have an opinion. I'm going to always say what the fuck I got to say. And I don't give a damn who got a problem with it, okay? And I've always felt like Shawnee was in a very much unfair position. She can say and do whatever she like, treat people however she wanted to fucking treat them. But in the same breath, it's like, can't nobody say nothing back to her. Oh, no, bitch. If you're going to be in front of this goddamn camera, bitch, you're going to take this heat like you're in front of the fucking camera. You got me bent. Shawnee has always had me bent, though, like with the fuck shit that she used to be on, like all of that. Like she used to sit up there, like the way she treated Gloria, like the shit. This is my thing. If you're going to be an executive producer, be one. But you but you always got to be fair and you always got to work with this shit the best way you possibly can. The way she was treating people like Royce, it was very biased. The way she was treating people like Gloria when they was on Miami was very biased. Like whoever she didn't like or whoever the fuck Evelyn didn't fucking like, they were no use to her. Or, you know, or the show because she didn't like her, Evelyn didn't like her. Brandy McFeel, she didn't like her, so she had to go. OG, she didn't like her, Evelyn didn't like her, so she had to go. Like, if she don't like somebody, they're not going to be on the motherfucking show. And as a damn boss, that's not the way you conduct yourself, period. I've been a manager before, and I work with motherfuckers I ain't like, but as long as they got the job done, I didn't give a fuck. My personal feelings went out the damn window. I ain't got to like you to let you know, bitch, you did a good job. I might not fuck with you like that, but bitch, you did a good job. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't got to do all that extra shit. Shawnee used to always do some extra shit all the fucking time. And that's why I didn't fucking like her, because she was always, always doing some extra shit. That's why I didn't like her. All Like, straight up, all the time, doing extra bullshit all the motherfucking time. Like, girl, get a life. Get a life, get a grip, get some. Because I ain't with it. I ain't with it, I ain't with it, I ain't with it, I ain't with it, I ain't buying it, I ain't fucking buying it. Fuck that bitch, okay? And everything that Tammy said was the fact. But at the same fucking time, Tammy, you also got to take accountability, too, because you was right there up under Shani. You was up under Shani following her orders. You didn't have no real reason not to like Brandy. Like, that whole situation in season six, which is why season six was fucking terrible, you didn't have no real reason not to like Brandy at all. You sat up there and sat up there, had lunch with Malaysia talking about, oh, um, I really like you, but um, I don't want to be around Brandy. Shani pushed you up to do that. Because she tried to fire Brandy season four and it didn't work. So VH1 brought her ass back season five. So that pig nose bitch felt like, okay, 
with her. I can't get rid of her. I keep trying to fire her, but VH1 won't get rid of her. So guess what? We're going to, um, if I get enough people to not film with her, then she won't be on the show. So Tammy, I need you not to film with her. I already know Evelyn ain't going to film with the bitch. So Tammy, I need for you not to film with her. Bunny Jill, I know you're going to be up under me anyway, so I'm going to need you not to film with her. You, you see how that shit running? You see how it's fucking running? You see how it's running? Oh, okay. So that's the type of shit she used to do. Whenever she didn't like you, she used to sit up there and treat you like shit. Okay? Like, instead of worrying about what was good for the show, she was worried about her own personal feelings, which really didn't make no sense to me at all because it's like, girl, really, like, Get the fuck out of here, girl. Like, I, I like y'all already know how I feel about Shawnee O'Neal anyway. Like, I ain't never fuck with Shawnee. I don't like Shawnee at all. And that's just what it is. And then you got people out there that really be going up for her because they really thought that she was on some really boss-ass shit when she fired Brandy at that table when she didn't do nothing but use her EP credentials as a way to try to control some fucking body. She don't get no brownie points for that. At all. She don't get no fucking brownie points for that bullshit. She did that to use her fucking muscle. And that's what the fuck she did. Period. That's why I don't like Shawnee. That's why I don't fuck with her ass like that. Like, fuck Shawnee. Period. Like, that's just really the type of time I'm on. Fuck Shawnee and everything she got going. Fuck that bitch. Period. I don't like her. I don't respect her. I don't respect nothing she got going on. Fuck that bitch. And I mean that. Because, like, all that shit she used to do, like, it, like, Honestly, really. Like, it really started when that first season of Basketball Our Wives came out. Because they treated Gloria like shit. Everybody wanted to gang up on her. And see, that's the, and, and, and that's the thing, though. And I've been watching Basketball Our Wives for years. And everybody knows that some of my most popular reviews were from Basketball Our Wives. So let me just give you a quick little history lesson before I get up out of here. Because I already got to do my Chasing Atlanta review. And as you can see, my duffel bag in the background, I go to Atlanta to go to Jamar's premiere in a few hours. It's like 12.15 right now, and I got to get up at 5 so I can catch my flight at 7.50. So, yeah, all for y'all, all for y'all. But let me give y'all a quick history lesson. Every single year, every single season, there's always someone that they're going to gang up on every season. Season one was Gloria Goes On. As much as I don't like Gloria Goes On right now, that's who they decided to gang the fuck up on that very first season. That's who they ganged up on. Period. They ganged up on that girl all because they all suspected that Laura goes on, slept with Shaq. And if she did, what the fuck they got to do with Gloria? And if that's the case, why even bring Gloria to the show? And Shonda was barely even filming back then, but she allowed her flunkies to attack that girl. Okay, boom. Season two. They tried to bully Tammy, but it didn't work. So now they are, now they're attacking Royce. Season two. Season three. They would stop filming with Royce. So the only ones that would film with Royce was Tammy, Susie, and Mika. And the latter, Mika, was the one that was a target and was the one getting bullied. I ain't like Mika. I was all for them doing her like that back in the gap. You know what I mean? Because I was young and stupid, 21, 22 years old. I ain't like Mika. I want her to get her ass beat. But being a 32-year-old man 10 years later, it's like, bitch, that was so fucking childish and so damn dumb. The shit that they were arguing about was stupid. Season four, who do we have to pick on? Of course, they was picking on Kenya and they was picking on Keisha, but their prime target was Jennifer. Season five, nobody watched that season, so no one cares. So then you go into season six of Basketball Wives. Who's the target? Malaysia. Yes, they was trying to pick Brandy off, but when they got Brandy away, everybody was coming from Malaysia's neck, period. Season seven, everybody wanted to come at Cece. Yeah, they were coming at OG, but they were really coming at Cece. That's who was getting bullied, like straight up. Season eight. Oh, Jesus. Season nine. Oh, Jesus. You see what I'm saying? Every single season, somebody was the target. They always got to find somebody to pick on every fucking season. of Any time Shawnee and Evelyn M is on the show, they got to find somebody to pick on. I'm going to include Tammy because she was a part of the bullshit too. I'm not going to leave her up out of it. It is what it is. So I agree with everything that Tammy said. But at the end of the day, if you're going to be an executive producer of a show and be a cast member, bitch, just know that when you get in front of that camera, 
you are one of us, bitch. You walking in the line, then, bitch, you one of us. Just know that every time you get in front of the camera, bitch, you one of us, and that's just on, period. If you don't like it, stay your ass behind the fucking camera, sign the check, do the edits, and get the fuck out my face, period. That's how I feel. Now, with that being said, with this new season of Basketball Wives, I really don't know if it's going to be just Basketball Wives or are we going to go back to putting L.A. on the Basketball Wives. I don't know. We'll see about that. But as I said already, the cast will consist of Jackie Christie, Jennifer Williams, Malaysia Pargo, Brooke Bailey, British Williams, Latasha Duffy, Angel Brinks, um, Nia and Aria um, Dorsey, and Brandy Maxfield. Okay. And from what I hear, Brandy is the queen this season. Ooh, it's funny how it's shown to be. <laughs> the one with the most mouth is the queen. <laughs> Y'all know I love Mr. Brandy. I know y'all don't like Brandy, but I love Brandy. She's the only one that kept it real. But however, with that being said, y'all, this be your boy Scotty. Be sure to like, rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Please do. Also, if you want to um, be notified anytime I come out with a video, be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be notified. Also, if you want to follow me on social media, child, go ahead and follow me, girl. My Twitter account and my IG name will all be in the description box below. I do follow back on IG. I don't really follow back on Twitter because I don't be on um, Twitter like that unless the show is unless the show is airing. But if you want me to follow you back on IG, just hit me up in the DM and say hashtag Team Scotty and bitch, I'll follow you back. Also, let me just let y'all know because I'm going to be in Atlanta from Friday through Sunday. Love and Marriage Huntsville will be late, and so will um, Housewives of Potomac. What I'm going to try to do is have Love and Marriage Huntsville, Potomac, and Salt Lake City all out on Monday. Sometime Monday, I'm going to try. I don't know if I'm going to be hosting the um, panel Monday. Um, we've been talking about it in the group chat. But if I don't host it, it's going to be between Sakina and T. So, you know, we'll figure that out as time goes on. So with that being said, you guys, your boy is out of here until my next video. Peace out. We can always find our way to a fun moment, even in the shady bunch.